Hello, I'm Hansi, and this is Natural Nerd. Today I will show you how I made my photo and work light. My old work light has a very yellow tint to it, and it produces a lot of heat. I want to go over to something with a more neutral color, and one that stays cool when I'm using it. Since I'm building a new light, I need something like a tripod which it can stand on. I deconstructed my old work light and scavenged the tripod from it. I'll build my light on top of some wood board I had lying around. It doesn't matter what kind of wood as long as it's not too heavy. I measured the dimensions I figured would be good and cut the board to proper size. I need some wires I can hook up my LED strips to. I didn't have any uninsulated wire, so I removed the insulation from some wire and straightened them, before I used the hot glue gun to attach it to the wood. Turns out this was not the best idea, as the glue melted when I used the soldering iron later, so don't do that. Using the adhesive that comes on the back of the strips, I attached them to the wood. Since the strips are wired with three diodes before a solder joint, I made sure to offset the strips every other row, so that the light would be spaced as evenly as possible. After a while I had placed all the LEDs in the right place. Some of them didn't stick good enough, so I fixed it with some hot glue. When I was happy with the entire setup, I was ready to start soldering. The left side of the board will be attached to the positive side of each strip, while the right side will be attached to the negative. Soldering it all together was pretty tedious work, but with the end result in mind, motivation was not hard to find. And if you do this yourself, remember to ventilate the room properly, as the fumes from the soldier can be dangerous. Time to find out if this is any good at all. With some crocodile connectors and a bench power supply, I fired it up. And I have to say, it did look very promising. Using an angle bracket, I locked the old tripod mount in place in the middle of my wood board. It has to be tightened pretty hard to be able to bear the load of the entire rig. After soldering some longer wires at the edges of the light, I grouped them together on the right side of the board, making sure the wire stayed in place using, yet again, hot glue. I want to unite both the wires and have them end up in a box in the middle, where I'll put all the electronics later. I used hot glue at first, but since it looked pretty rough and horrible, I covered with some black electrical tape. This made it look much better. Since this build is pretty DIY-ish, I'm just using an old screw box to hold the electronics. I also used a prototype circuit board, an Arduino Nano, a voltage step-down circuit and also a potentiometer for dimming control. I connected the Arduino to the PCB, then soldered the input power and the ground to the output of the voltage step-down, which I already configured to output 5 volts, that is what Arduino requires to run. I hooked it up to my bench power supply, just to make sure the Arduino started. Then I connected the potentiometer. The black wire goes to ground, the red wire goes to the 5V output, and the brown wire goes to any analog pin. This will control the dimming. Since the LED strips takes 12V, I'm using a MOSFET to control the 12V current. The MOSFET is wired from its gate to a digital output pin on the Arduino board. I didn't have any fitting wires, so I just used the end of a resistor. As the MOSFET ground and Arduino ground needs to be common, I soldered wires to the input of the voltage step-down. Then I soldered the black ground cable to the ground of the Arduino, and then a wire from the MOSFET source to the common ground. I used a lot of solder bridges. This is one of my first electronic projects, and it's not pretty, so please bear with me. I drilled a hole in the box to get the cables through. Then I connected the drain of the MOSFET to the ground of the LED cable. I need a way to get external power through the box, and it should preferably be detachable. That's why I chose a simple power connector I had lying around. The positive side of the input was connected to the LED strip and the voltage step down, while the negative only to the step down. The box was attached to the board using regular screws. I stuffed the electronics inside and put the lid on. I found some black spray paint and sprayed the entire box to make it look a little more integrated in the build. And yes, I remembered to cover the power input first. I removed the knob from the potentiometer so that I could fit it through the lid. I made a hole and then put it back on. The knob moves really smoothly and the feeling of rotating it is very satisfying. 
The light is complete and it's time to attach it to the tripod using the mount we scavenged earlier. Time to check it out and see what it's good for. In the end I was really happy with the result. I use it for projects all the time, since it gives off such strong and bright light. It's good for photography and for working, but when you're filming with it the pulse width modulation is going to make the footage flicker, especially if you dim it, so keep that in mind. I hope you liked the video and please subscribe to our channel, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week!